All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. This is by the Yahweh Shah, but another lesson. Uh, and basically, today, the title of this lesson is going to be um, strengthening, strengthening Our Hands for This Good Work. All right, and the way that we're strengthening our hands, all right, is by giving ourselves wholly unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and following after His commandments. All right, His law, statutes, and commandments. All right, and uh, to start it off, I'm going to start off in the book of Nehemiah, uh, uh, chapter two. But before I do that, I just want to give a little bit of background. Uh, so when you when you're reading the book of Nehemiah, pretty much he finds out um, in the first chapter uh, that Jerusalem was destroyed. All right, then uh, he finds favor with the king to go back and build up Jerusalem's walls. All right, and that's the same thing that we're doing today, except this time it's spiritually. All right, and so we in order to be able to build that temple all right and to be able to whack strong uh, and have the strength to be able to endure the 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 building of this temple you have to you have to trust in Yahweh Bashim al Shai all right and you have to believe and follow after what he says all right and so to go ahead and start it off it's going to be the book of Nehemiah chapter 2 and I'm going to start at verse 17 it says then said I unto them Ye see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more reproach. So here Nehemiah is talking to these men, and he's telling them, let's build, let's rebuild these walls. All right, and that's the same thing that we're doing out there on the highways and hedges. All right, we're we're being fishers of men spiritually. All right, and letting them know that we're building, we we are rebuilding that spiritual temple. We're rebuilding back up Jerusalem spiritually first. All right, and then the the physical manifestation is going to come. All right, and this is how those men responded. So verse eighteen, then I told them of the hand of my power, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he has spoken unto me, and they said. Let us rise up and build so they strengthen their hands for this good work. That's right, because building this temple spiritually is a very good work. That's why it's called the gospel. All right, the good news unto our people, the so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right, the true Israelites, according to the Bible, man. You know, we're out there uh, bidding them to the marriage and uh, finding those who, who are worthy to be accepted of him, man. And Yahweh Radazah were part of that number. All right. And it says, continuing it, verse 19, But when Sambalat, the Horonite, which ultimately was a Moabite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, and Geshem, the Arabian, heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is this thing that ye do where ye rebel against the king? So pretty much what these heathens were trying to instill in, in Nehemiah and those men was the spirit of fear and the, uh, the spirit of bondage. All right, but Yahweh Bashim Yahushua didn't give us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of, of, of adoption of the promises and the covenant. All right, and so we have to have faith that the Heavenly Father is going to bless us with this kingdom, and we have to have faith that what he says is going to happen is, is uh, going to come to pass. All right, and we ultimately, we do see that. All right, we see the prophecies happening. All right, we see the MOTB on its way. All right, we see all the things that Yahweh Shai and the prophets before him has spoken about ha happening right now. All right, and so this is how this is how Nehemiah responded, which is uh, which is which was a very Tawa way to respond. All right, so it says verse twenty. Then answered I them and said unto them, The power of heaven, he will prosper us. That's right. So this work is not of us. But of the Heavenly Father, he's going to be the one to prosper us. He's going to be the one to give us the strength to endure, to be able to build this, uh, to, to build this back up. All right. So it says, therefore, we, his servants, will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. That's right. Because these heathens, they're not going to partake part of the, they're not going to be partakers of the covenant and the mercy that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is going to bestow upon his people. All right. They're they're gonna be they're gonna be in the kingdom, but not that uh but not as we are. All right, because we're gonna be full of peace. There's gonna be no complaining in our streets. All right, we're gonna be uh gods. 
all right we're gonna be perfect but they're still gonna be imperfect they're still gonna be in the flesh all right they're still gonna be pretty much subject to sin all right as to us our, and our people we're not gonna be subject unto sin anymore as the scripture saith all right and therefore this is the work that we're doing all right is to build back up Jerusalem and this spiritual temple all right and we have to be strong and in order to be strong we have to give we have to give ourselves unto Yahweh Bashim al Shah's law statutes commandments all right going out on the highways and hedges all right preaching all right putting up lessons fellowship and whatever you can all right through the spirit of uh, of Yahweh Bashim al Shah to be able to be strong all right and so uh from there I want to go ahead and get this can be the book of Sirach chapter 50 all right and uh verse 28 it says blessed is he that shall be exercised in these things and he that layeth them up in his heart shall become wise that's right because when you read the book of Sirach, it's pretty much uh another proverbs all right it's giving you uh, how to please the heavenly father and how to walk in life all right and so it says here blessed is he that shall be exercised in it exercising these things and he that layeth them up in his heart shall become wise all right because ultimately you're moving with the fear of yahweh all right and it says verse 29 for if he do them he shall be strong to all things for the light of the lord leadeth him who giveth wisdom to the godly blessed be yahweh forever aman aman that's right so when you give your your heart unto these things and you're not faint-hearted when serving the heavenly father all right then you will be strong in all things all right no matter what situation you're going to go through all right it, it you'll be strong and be able to endure all right and we we have to believe that yahweh bashmael shai is with us all right and that he will protect us during this time as nehemiah was all right because you know there's nothing wrong with with being nervous or 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 being scared all right but what is wrong is when you let that fear and that that nervousness take hold of you to, and stop you from doing the work of the heavenly father all right so we have to be strong in yahweh bashmi al shai and give our our ears and be attentive unto his word all right because you're always going to have scoffers and you're always going to have these people come up to try to put that fear or try to instill that fear inside of you but that fe the fear of yahweh should be stronger than the fear of men all right matter of fact just real quick just a just a quick precept, man. Uh, this is gonna be the book of Isaiah. Pass it up, slot you. But it's uh, the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty, and uh, I'm gonna get straight to the point. It says, matter of fact, it, it, this this looks like it's all the point. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse five. So, uh, Isaiah chapter fifty and verse five. It says, "The Lord Yahweh hath opened mine ear, and I was not rebellious, neither turned away back." That's right, because the prophets understood that whenever you come into the ministry or you come into into Yahweh's work, that the persecution follows, temptation, all right, and and uh, diverse trials that are gonna try you as gold is tried in the fire. You're gonna be you're gonna be put under that heat, all right. So he says, I was not rebellious, neither turned away back. I gave my back to the sinners, to the smiters, to like you, and my cheeks to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. That's right. So even though um, he was being persecuted, he, he that's what he, you know, he still did it. All right. He gave his back to the smiters and to the people that pull out hair. And uh, he hid not his face from shame and spitting. And that's the same thing that we're doing today, regardless of of the things that these people can do to us we always know that it can be worse if we don't follow after what yahweh bashim yahweh says all right so it says verse 7 for yet the lord yahweh will help me therefore shall i not shall i not be confounded therefore have i set my face like a flint and i know that i shall not be ashamed that's right for, because he know because we know that Yahweh Bashim is for us, we set our face like a flint very hard, all right, and that we're not going to be ashamed. So even though we look as fools, and even though these people treat us as fools, we know that ultimately we have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the heavens, all right, that the Heavenly Father had bestowed upon us, all right, and therefore are we strong, okay? So it says, verse 8, He is near that justifieth me, who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near to me. That's right. So Isaiah was calling them out, man. You know, telling them, you know, come, you know, let's 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 talk about it. Pretty much, 
you know, you you're so angry. Get over here and stand in front of me manfully and let's debate, you know, pretty much. All right. Because he understood that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is near. Right. He understood that he was being protected and that the Heavenly Father's hands covered him. All right. And we have to be in that same spirit of being strong in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to be able to do this good work. All right. Because if you're not, let's get to that. This is going to be the book of Sirach again, chapter two. All right. And uh, jumping down to verse, jumping down to verse 12. All right, it says, Woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that go with two ways. When it, which, whenever you get into that uh, faint hands, it pretty much means weak. You know, so woe unto them that are faint hearted and weak. And that sinner that go with two ways, because ultimately that means you don't trust in the Heavenly Father and you don't believe on his words as the scriptures tell us to do. All right. And it says, verse 13, Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. That's right. So if you don't believe, then of course you're not going to be defended. Of course you're not going to be saved, you know. But you have to believe, man. And and going through trials and tribulations, all right, doesn't mean that the Heavenly Father is not with you. Read Hebrews 12, man. All right, those, those who, who, go, who come into this ministry... And go through diverse temptations and go through uh, diverse afflictions. All right, that's the Most High dealing with them, cleansing all that filth off of them. All right, it's it's going through that cleansing process. Okay, being put under that fire, and in order to endure that fire, we have to be strong. Which, in order to be strong, you have to give uh, your attention unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushua's law, statutes, and commandments, and have faith that. What he said, what he said was going to happen is going to come to pass. All right. And so from there, I want to jump to the book of Psalms, chapter nine, which I'm jumping to it as well. It's going to be the book of Psalms. Chapter nine and verse nine, and it says, Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed. And a refuge, a refuge in times of trouble. That's right. So Yahweh is going to be our refuge, someone that we can trust in, we can abide in, and be safe. All right, a refuge in times of trouble. So whenever persecutions, famines, all right, and uh, and judgment is going to happen, all right, we run into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and have faith in Him. All right, and He will protect us and cover us. All right, just as during the hour of temptation, whenever the MLTB is going to be fully initiated and uh start being mandatory and we are going to accept that Yahweh Radazah we're part of that number that's going to deny it all right that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to be the one to protect us all right and that's something that you have to have faith in so continuing it verse 10 and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee for thou Yahweh has not forsaken them that seek thee that's right and that's something that you have to truly believe in man and there's been plenty of testimonies all right, from brothers that um, have been through situations that could have either got them hurt or worse, uh, killed. All right, that they were saved out of because they called upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, brothers even have dreams, you know, and some and, and some sisters, you you sincere brothers and sisters have dreams, you know, that uh, whenever you going through things in that dream, you start calling upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. All right, and then you're saved out of that trouble, you know. And so we have to have that same that same uh, faith and that same uh, strength to call upon him whenever uh, temptation comes upon us. Right. Especially for the times to come, because if you're not strengthening your hands right now, you're not going to have the strength to endure the temptation that's going to come. All right. So you have to in order to continue to build, in order to continue to prosper, should I say that you have to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So it says, verse 11. Sing praises to Yahweh, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. That's right. So when he comes back and pleads our cause with the heathens, all right, he's going to remember the cry of the humble, which Yahweh, Radazah, were part of that number. All right, we're part of that humble people that's going to be saved at one third and the elect 144,000 of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and North, Ameri North American Indians. All right. And so with that understanding, we know 
that Yahweh Bashim Yahusha will protect us through these diverse temptations because we we have strength and we have abided in his law, statutes, and commandments, and ultimately we have faith in him. All right. And so from there, <clears throat> I also want to get this gonna be the book of Luke, chapter 21, and uh verse 34. And it says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with sur sur surfeiting and drunkenness and care of this life. And so that day come upon you unaware is this right. Take heed unto yourselves, you know, by listening unto the law, such commandments or right, by by watching what the what the devil is doing, man, the moves that he's making. All right. By keeping an eye out and ultimately just being a watchman. All right. Being on guard at all times, being sober, being vigilant. All right. And knowing that the devil is walking around as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. All right. So it says, verse 25, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. That's right. So in order to be accounted worthy, you have to watch always. You have to watch ye therefore and pray always. All right. And you have to give attendance to reading, to studying, to, to this doctrine, unto this gospel. All right. You have to be strong and strengthen your hands for this good work. All right. Because this is very to all work, man. You know, this is this is a work of mercy towards us, a work of peace and everlasting life towards us. All right. Because this isn't for Yahweh. This isn't for Yahweh Shai. They, they already did their part, man. All right, the Most High, the Father of Spirits, he doesn't he doesn't need the law, statutes, commandments, man. Yahweh Shai, he already gave himself uh, a living sacrifice for us, man. Now it's our now it's our turn to give ourselves and to give all our strength unto the heavenly Father and His Son Yahweh Shai. All right, and we have to watch you therefore and pray always that we are accounted worthy to be able to be partakers of this uh, building that that is being built right now, man. All right. So all in all, we have to be strong. We have to have faith. All right. And we have to continue to endure for this good work. All right. And so from there, from there, let's go ahead and end it off on this, man. Uh, it's going to be the book of Hebrews chapter four. And I'm going to start at verse, I'm going to start at verse nine. It says, there remaineth therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. For he that is entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works as he, as God did from his. That's right. So there is a rest for the people of Yahweh. We just have to we just have to labor to enter into that rest, which we're doing right now. It starts now. All right. Really, it started a while ago. But if you're just coming into this thing, all right, you're being sent unto labors where you put no work in. Therefore, you have to you have to you have to start working. All right. Just because you showed up late to the party doesn't mean doesn't mean that you don't have a chance to be saved. All right. So it says, verse 11, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief, which we've seen many people come into this truth. All right. And not believe and then fall out. All right. And now you see. Everything that the apostles and elders that have been saying for 30 plus years is now coming to pass. You can't imagine what those guys are thinking to themselves, man, because <laughs> they'll never be truthful about it. But pretty much we know that they have a fear in their heart, man. You know, they they have that fear. And we and so do we. You know, we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They feared men. Right. And now they're going to pay those consequences. And we pray that we don't partake of that judgment. All right. And so with that being said, I pray this lesson was edifying. And once again, I want to give all praises, honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Radash. All right. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Game Millstone, who are the true elders and apostles of all Israel. All right. Until the next time I say, Shalom.